Hi, this is Meghnath. In this video, we are going to learn C program to print reverse of a given number. Let's take for example, if we are entering 356, the output should be 6, 5 and 3. So if you are entering number 25 as the input, the output should be 52. So we just need to read a number from the user and print reverse of the given number. Okay. So and I'm going to type the code in Visual Studio Community Edition. You can reuse the code and type it in any editor that you are using, either Turbo C editor, a Dev C++, or any other editor that you are using, right? So let's get started and let me write the code for this. Now, first step is include stdio.h and also we need to include conio.h for using getch and then I used to write here author. I'm going to write my name. And then I'm going to add email so you can send your feedback and purpose to read a number and print reverse of it. Right? And print reverse of it. Now, program execution starts at void main main method. I'm going to write void main. And some compilers will not accept void main, so you have to write int main, and at the last line you have to put return zero. That's fine. Now the first step is we need to use we need to write variable declaration, and then you have to write here uh, read data from user. The last, I mean actual logic, right? Now the first thing is variable declaration, so we need to write int n value. So that's the number that we read from the user. And we need one more variable for storing reverse. So reverse of a number. And, and now let me explain how do we approach this. So let me open MS Paint. And, and how we can do this is we can do we can solve this in multiple ways. So I'm going to tell in one solution. So let's try to say this now. So we are taking the number 356. Now we know how to get the last digit. So we know how to get the last digit is using modulo 10. So when you divide any number with modulo 10, so you will get the last number. So first we will do modulo 10. So you will get the last number 6. And now what we will do is we will divide this 356 with 10. So now you will get 35. Okay. Now what we will do is we will do modulo 10 for this and we will get 5. So now what we will do this 5 is we will multiply the 6 with 10 and add this. So now see here. So I'm multiplying 6 with 10. We will get 60 plus 5. So we will get 65. Now again this number will be divided with 10. So 35 we divide with 10 normal division so and then this will give th 3 and now what we will do is we'll multiply the 65 that we got previously into 10 and we add this reminder so now that will become 6 5 3 anyway now it looks like little uh, difficult to understand but anyway let's write the program and I will debug the program to make it very clear for you and let's get started with the program so first we are we need uh, input value n we need uh, the result for re uh, reverse so for reverse I have used rev and also we need uh, a reminder so reminder so for reverse I'm just initializing to zero a reminder we will get from like modulo 10 and what else we need we need another variable yum to take a backup of the initial number n so yeah, we'll write the code now. If we need any other variables, we'll declare it later. And let's get started. The first thing is printf, enter any number. And now I'm going to write scanf for integer %d. And we are going to write here ampersand n now for reading the value from the user. And now what we will do is, now the actual logic that we are going to write now is take a backup of yum, n into yum so yum is equal to uh, n. The reason why I'm taking backup now is 
So I'm going to print at the last line the reverse of the given number n is REV. So that's why I'm taking backup now. Now what we have to do is while. So we are going to use while yum greater than zero. So as long as the value exists, so we have to find, we have to write like this. Now first step what we have to do is reminder is equal to yum modulo 10. So you'll get the last number. You'll get the last digit of the given number. And once you get the last digit, remove the last digit. So yum is equal to yum by 10. So first get the last digit and then remove the last digit. Now what you have to do is you need to add. Now here you need to be a little bit careful. So you need to add reverse is equal to reverse star 10. Initially it will be 0 plus reminder. So first time this will be 0 plus reminder that is that is if you're reading 365, 362. So this one will be 0 plus 0 plus 0 into 10. 0 I initialized here. 0 into 10 is 0 plus reminder is 2. So first time you'll get this re re reverse as 2. Now this uh, reminder is 2 and uh, uh, yum equal to yum by 10. This becomes 32, 36. Now this will go here once again. Now 36 greater than 0, yes. Now this time reminder equal to yum modulo 6. So yum value is 36. Now, now reminder you'll get 6. Because 36 modulo 10 is 6 and m equal to m by 10, now this will become 3. 6 will be gone. Now already reverse is 2 into 10 is 20 plus reminder. Reminder we got 6, now we got 26. Now again it will go here and this time m value, m value is 3. So 3 modulo 10 is 3 and uh, m by 10 this becomes 0 now. And already now your reverse is 26 into 10 is 260 plus 3 and that becomes your reverse. So 263 is the reverse of 362, so you got it. So now since m value becomes zero, the loop will stop. Okay, so now let's write the program. Now I'm going to write here printf, printf, reverse of, reverse of person D is person D and in case of Per first person D I need to print n value and I need to print here reverse okay so last we need to add get ch just to ensure that we can see the output and that's it we are done this, this program is very simple and easy and now what we are going to do is I'm going to debug this and then I'll explain you so the best part about Visual Studio is Visual Studio Community Edition is it's free and you can put a breakpoint here and breakpoint will stop execution when you ex when you run the code and you can debug it by pressing F10 right so in in different editors you can do different ways of debugging so now let's run this now I'm going to execute this now I'm entering here enter any number let's take 365 or 325 right so I'm going to enter this now you can see here the breakpoint. So that number that I entered in, in the window is 325. Now m value will be 325. You can see here the value of m is 325. The best part is you can use here uh, view. There will be something called immediate windows. So debug windows, you can have a window called immediate window. And you can actually have, uh, you can check the value. Or so say this question mark yum so you can see the value is 325 or there are other windows also so a uh, debug windows debug windows you can actually use in visual studio so you can see here watch so parallel watch or watch window also is there so let's add some see here I'm going to watch the value for yum and I'm going to watch the value for a reminder. So it's some junk value at this point of time. I'm going to watch the value of reverse. And now let's say this, I'm going to debug it. The first time you can see here, let me now, now I don't need immediate window. Now let's say this, I'm going to press F10. So parallelly you can have an eye on this, how these values change now, let's say this. Okay, so I'm going to press F10. 
Now you can see here it's a reminder equal to yum modulo 10. So at the below you can see watched you can see that reminder is 5 and now yum is 325 still after this line gets executed. You can see here yum value become 32 and reminder is 5. Now reverse equal to reverse start 10 plus reminder. So reverse all the initialize to 0. So 0 into plus reminder so this will become 5. So let me press F10. Now you can see here the remind reverse is 5. So now since yum value is 32 it will come here and yum greater than. So let me press F10. Now it comes here. So yum value 32 greater than 0. Reminder is now 2 and uh, yum equal to yum by 10 that will become 3 and now reverse equal to reverse all the reverse value is 5 5 tens of 50 plus the current reminder which is uh, 2 so it becomes 52 now now m value is 3 3 greater than 0 3 modulo 10 is 3 and m equal to m by 10 that becomes 0 now so m is gone now now reverse equal to reverse all the reverse value is 52 into 10 5 20 plus reminder which is 3 so 523 we will get and then it the loop will stop because m reached 0 so now we have the reverse of 325 in the variable reverse so that's what we are printing so so the logic is quite simple and um, you you have to practice it to understand this clearly thanks for watching and let me complete the execution so you can see here we are seeing the output uh, reverse of 325 is 523 right okay so thanks for watching do remember to subscribe for more videos and do share with your friends and don't forget to add comments in the comment section thank you and have a great day